Welcome back to Experimental Recording Techniques. I'm Noam Wallenberg. We're here at Rax Tracks Recording. Today we are going to be making an acoustic guitar sound by layering lots of acoustic guitars. And they're all going to be playing the same thing. And they're all going to be slightly out of tune from each other. Uh, this is a technique that Alan Parsons did on a bunch of records in the 70s. If you guys want to put like a name drop a uh, little logo here. Uh, Alan Parsons did this on a bunch of Pink Floyd records uh, and a bunch of other people did this where they would record an acoustic guitar and they would have the tape speed a little bit slower than it normally was, right? Uh, they would then record a double with the guitarist playing exactly the same part and they would increase the tape speed a little bit above. So a little bit below, a little bit above. Together they would sound like two acoustic guitars that kind of had a chorus on them uh, and they would also spread the acoustic guitars super wide because they're, they're more different, the two speakers are more different than they normally would be if it was just two acoustic guitars playing exactly the same thing. We're working off of Pro Tools today, so we're obviously not going to be changing the uh, record speed, but what we can do is change the tuning of the acoustic guitar. So. We're going to record six guitars on top of each other. They're all going to be exactly the same thing. One of them is going to be tuned to 438. That's going to be uh, panned to the left. One of them is going to be tuned to f uh, 442. That's going to be panned to the right. And then we're going to keep going incrementally, tuning it lower and lower and tuning it higher and higher. Uh, so the left side is going to be getting uh, lower in pitch all the way down to, I believe, 7 cents below what 440 is. And on the right side, we're going to get 7 cents above, and together they're all going to feel like one big chorusy acoustic guitar. We're going to work on a track today uh, from Packy Lundholm's last solo record, uh, and Packy is here to play some acoustic guitar for us. Let's go check it out. So let's listen to these parts individually, and then we'll listen to them together and kind of see how they work off each other. So we have our basic acoustic guitar sound. Now this is a uh, a, essentially a Neumann U47. We're using the uh, Bill Bradley version of that. And we're going through a Neve 1073, and we are going through a Silverface 1176. So, a really great signal chain. Uh, you could do this with, obviously, any mic, any, any pre's. It's, it's not so much about the acoustic guitar sound, it's about putting them all together. So here's our basic acoustic guitar. This is panned to the left and this is at 438. On the right side, we have exactly the same thing, but it's tuned to 442. So individually, together, and you can already start to hear a little bit of chorusing. If I play this in mono, you can hear a lot, right? Spreading it out, it becomes less of a noticeable effect, but it is definitely felt, you can feel the, the width come. So, uh, our next two layers, we had a guitar done four cents below, and we had a guitar done four cents above. So, here's four cents below, here's four cents above. So, a little bit more chorusy. And then lastly, we had one that was seven cents below and seven cents above. So, here is Seven cents below. Seven cents above. So, even more extreme. Now, as we put them all together, they're gonna each start kind of compounding on each other and, and, and combining into one singular sound. Two cents. Four cents. Seven cents. Now, Let's listen to that in the context of the track. <laughs> 